and blessings everyone welcome back to the humble servant homestead today we are out here getting ready to treat some of our plants okay now you may be sitting back and wondering hey how do you know when your plant needs to be treated well you get outside and you pay attention to your plants you will see some activities of bugs trying to take over your plants now one of the key signs to pay attention to is if you're outside in your garden and you just see a whole bunch of butterflies flying around pitching all your plants simply that is a sign that you need to start getting your stuff together because those butterflies they have just laid an egg okay and so that is what we're doing down here lately you know we have been seeing a lot of butterflies been flying around um, I didn't come on out and spray just as yet but today is that day because I am seeing some damage and I will show you guys that shortly now so what we will be using here um, on the homestead this year is Spinosad okay and this is a chemical here that it will knock out the infestation or we don't have an infestation and that is what we are trying to avoid but this is something here that we are going to be using now of course remember I am a big fan of the neem oil and also the Castile soap okay and it works but the thing about it is is with like your greens and stuff like that I would have to come on in and mix a stronger dose to get a real effective um, defense on these bugs here and so when you mix it too strong what happened you will end up burning your leaves and if you mix it too weak you will have to come back in and reapply now the beauty about it is and the, the thing that could have been the issue why I have to come in and reapply so many times with my neem oil is simply because I was overhead watering okay so that is one of the things that you have to keep in mind if you're overhead watering and you have a bug problem the minute you start watering your plants overhead what happened is the stuff you just put on you end up washing it off okay so then you have to come back in and reapply but the beauty about it this year is all praises be to the most high is we have drip system okay so I won't really have to come on in and reapply as much and only time I may have to come in and reapply is if we have heavy rain okay and so for a gallon it is calling for four tablespoons alright so this right here only holds two tablespoons so therefore I'm going to have to fill this up two times to get me a gallon mixture all right so we're going to shake this up right here a little bit okay and this one right here will make four all right so let me go ahead today I will be mixing three gallons so I'm going to need this right here six times inside of here okay and so one other thing real quick here guys I want to show you what's going on here with these bugs that these butterfly came in and laid and later on I'm gonna also take you all up there at the top garden and show you all what's taking place up there as well alright so come on over let me show you guys here so right here if you can look this right here is some Brussels sprout that we have look down here at the base you okay. can see all that dropping from those bugs uh, they have been eating the leaves pooping and that's the dropping okay and so I'm gonna see if I can find one okay here go one right here and I'm telling you look okay look at this right here oh, wow. it ain't just one it's more than one one two three four now if you don't come on down and pay close attention you will actually miss those bugs because they blend right in with your plants okay so let me pick one off so y'all can see or right, let me go ahead and pick pick all of them off pick well they're gonna get dealt with right now all right and if you pay attention where I just pulled these ones right here from was 
underneath the leaf. Even this leaf, though, this oh, leaf, there you go. The no, it ain't too. just one. Yeah, there's one on. Oh, wow. So, this is a lot of bugs right here, guys. And so, we have, look at that. Mm. So, you know, if y'all can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus one drop makes seven. Now, I know, and it's even more right here. Uh, oh, wow. You know, you see that? And what they're going for is more so the tender leaves. In the middle. In the middle, because those leaves, they are tender. All right? But nonetheless, we're going to take care of them. I wish my chickens was close by. I would give them these grubs here. All right? So, and one of the thing is uh, the time frame or the time that you want to come on out and spray is early in the morning or late down in the evening when the sun is not at its peak all right you don't want to come out here and spray your stuff while the sun is very hot uh, what will happen you will simply cook your leaves and you will start to see brown spot and damage on your leaves all right so with no further ado let's get on over here and get to spraying okay and real quick and I just want to give it all to you while I'm here now it's not everything I'm gonna give it a shake now it's not everything out here needs to be sprayed okay we don't see bug issue on a lot of our stuff our peppers down here at the bottom garden doesn't really have any issues now that doesn't mean that caterpillar does not come in and try to damage your peppers but that's why we come out here and we do a daily walk walk I'm always in here I'm always inside of the garden so I'm always paying attention uh, to the plants to see what's going on and so right over here we're going to go ahead and get started on our Roma Nesso broccoli all right so this is what we have here and I'm telling you look at this look at that there guys now hey what's what's rolling right here right now is chicken manure okay chicken manure is growing these right here when I planted mm -hmm. these I did not put any fertilizer inside of the hole um, I did come back in probably right at about a month or so month and a half and I did put some uh, chicken manure back down there on the root uh, the dry chicken manure okay and that is what's growing these right here so no further ado we are here to treat our plant okay and so what we want is a mist we need a light mist on these plants here uh, nothing uh, we don't want to wet the leaves just pretty much want to mist the leaves okay and to be honest with you, I don't really see much bug damage on these right here, um, but I think I'm still gonna go ahead and treat them since I'm already down here. All right. So and top and bottom. So what you wanna do when you first get ready and get started to spray, you wanna make sure you're spraying under your leaves, okay? You wanna get under your leaves because that is where the bugs like to hide is underneath those leaves okay and that's why sometimes you'll come outside and you won't see any bugs mm. because they're hiding especially if it gets real hot they're underneath the leaves okay all right and so we're gonna treat underneath the leaves and then we're gonna come back on over on top and spray the tops okay and remember you just lightly misting okay and so now that I have all the under leaves sprayed now I'm just going to come on through and miss the top and you want to also make sure you're getting inside of the heart of the plant 
because there that is what the bugs prefer is the heart of the plant the leaves are more tender and juicy and succulent and that's what they like all right so we're going to make sure we get on the inside of the plants and guys i'm going to tell you the spacing on these cabbage right here is I want to say a little over two feet mm -hmm. and they have already if you see this leaf right here these some of these leaves they are holding on to gigantic yeah. look at this leaf I don't know if you can get a, a yeah if you can see it it's expanding past its space. But we get it on in there. And the beauty with this uh, drip system here is I'm actually watering the plants right now. And y'all can see I'm out here spraying as well and so that's that's just the beauty with the drip system and you know not being able to overhead water thanks for staying tuned and so we are right here over the Georgia Collins okay and you know what we probably should have came out and harvest before we spray these but hey it's all right we'll go ahead and let them sit on out here for about another week and a half and we'll be back down here to so long them. yeah so long i mean you know, you know for me rule of thumb you know you spray them give that thing some time to go ahead and breeze out you know i'm pretty sure on the on the bottle you could come on in and harvest earlier than that but uh for me we're gonna give them about a week and a half and we'll be down here harvesting some yeah. Georgia collards. Uh, they are actually looking real good. But what I'm actually doing right now is pretty much spraying the heart of the plant, okay? Because that seems to be where the bugs finding themselves in the heart. Now, if I come back down here and I start seeing damage on the outer leaves, um, I will definitely come on in and give it a whole bath. You know, go ahead and spray it up. But so far, it went good. I, I know I did say I was going to take you guys up there on the top garden. But I think we covered everything down here that we're supposed to cover. Uh, just make sure that whenever you get ready to go out and spray, as y'all can see, I am very close proximity. Even though this stuff right here is organic, um, just make sure you have some uh, long pants caught myself some long pants and also some long sleeves just so you don't get any chemical on your skin uh, some people is sensitive to certain things and so you want to just be careful you don't know if you that person or not so just you know wear wear long clothing and so far um, I just pray that you all take something away from this video here you know, that is always my prayer that you take something away from this video, that it can uh, benefit you on your homestead. And another thing, I know it's a lot of people out there may see me spraying this stuff here and say, oh, you spray your stuff. Yes, okay. Like I said, I don't mind sharing, but um, I mean, I share the grass and stuff. There's plenty of green grass out there that these bugs can go ahead and eat but they choose to eat this stuff right here and um i don't think i want to share much with them with these it's, it's a lot of work going to the garden to have bugs to come on in and eat your stuff down so um i'm sorry for but also people have to understand too when you're uh organically growing or growing things as natural as possible things are bound to come in and eat that's what they do Right. If you uh, are doing things right, edibles are for yourself and for nature. Now, if you're growing some stuff that's not quite 
organic or it's been played with, you you might not be having no issues. Yeah. You know, nothing probably is coming in to eat your stuff, but when you grow things naturally, you're bound to have some kind of bugs or something want to come in and enjoy. So that's right. And so you know what we'll do uh, going forward. Of course, like I said, I do come on out here and pay, pay very close attention to what's going on down here. And that's one of the things to catch these bugs early. Pay close attention to what you're planting. Because I'm telling you, if I didn't come down here and take care of this, that's a lot of hard work that would have went in vain. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, you could have let it go ahead and grow and new leaves would come on out. But, you know, especially like your, your broccoli, well, not your broccoli, but um, your collards that you're going to be eating the leaves. Hey, get them before they come and tear them up. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, especially if you want to have a beautiful garden. Take charge of your bugs. Well, I was going to say, to be honest, I don't mind cooking some leaves that have a few holes in it. People don't want to buy leaves that have holes in it. Right. But for me, if I come out and I see, you know, a couple holes, I don't have a problem, yes. you know, cooking those. And that's well said. Over here on the homestead, a few bug bites in the leaves don't bother us. Oh, no. <laughs> we going to eat, too. Absolutely. All right. But um, so that is it right there. Okay, and so I was just getting ready to close this video out and I have to show you all something and actually this is what I was going to show you all up there at the top garden. Come on in camera lady. You see that bug right there? You trying to hide. You see that bug right there? Can you see it? Yeah, we can see it. Now, if you also see, it's some kind of beetle. I don't know the exact name for them, but if you see that bug right there coming inside of your garden and you have lettuce or anything like that, they won't really mess so much with the cabbage and stuff, the leaves. Well, and I won't, well, I won't say that because if they're hungry enough and that's all is out there, they will eat it. But if you see these kind of beetle come in right here, Look at there, he's gone right. to another one. But it's just another one right here. Just make sure that you go ahead and take care of those because they will also cause devastation mm -hmm. in your garden as well. I'm glad, glad I am glad them. I see that because that is actually one that I also wanted to point out to you. And so take charge, mm -hmm. take charge of your garden guys. And so I'm gonna hit them real quick get them out of there get them out of there and so that is it right there for showing you guys how to go ahead and take care of the bugs in your garden now pray like I said that you guys take something away from this video here uh, just want each and every one of you all out there to have a blessed day